Ben, are you ready for the most important match in Fight Factory history? I am prepared. I don't even know if I can say I'm prepared. This is the biggest match in the history of Fight Factory. The stakes have never been higher. Every single title on the line here in six-man action, and there is no better six-man team. Regardless of my personal feelings towards them at the moment, there is no better six-man team in wrestling today. Not just Irish wrestling, UK wrestling, European wrestling, the world. in the world. The best six-man team is Nathan Martin, Darren Kearney, and LJ Cleary, more than hype. But the that, holders of all the gold here in Fight Factory. But that begs the question, do Club Rock Shandy and Flamboyant Fabio have a chance of taking the gold off the most talented trio in wrestling today? Well, let me ask you a question. Did you think Flamboyant Fabio had a chance to make it to the finals of the Cruiserweight Tournament? Did you think Flamboyant Fabio had a chance to win the Irish Junior Heavyweight title? Did you think Club Rock Shandy had a chance against the Angel Cruisers? You know, you do make a valid point. They've been written off before, and it hasn't stopped them from winning matches. So maybe, just maybe, Fabio and Club Rock Shandy have a chance here. Absolutely, you can talk. You can talk, you can talk about the disparity of experience, the disparity of accolades, the disparity of travel and matches had throughout the years. But quite frankly, Flamboyant Fabio and Club Rock Shandy, over the last two years, have made a name for themselves on proving everybody wrong about them. Fabio has made it to the top at such a young age. Club Rock Shandy, they weren't expected. Club Rock Shandy were not expected to make it as far as they did. They took more than hype to the limit many times in the past. They did it just last episode. They have been the breakout tag team of 2019. Flamboyant Fabio has heralded Project Next Gen. Sure, more than hype, best in the world. But these three are right on their heels. And tonight could finally be their night to reclaim all of the gold that they could touch with their fingertips for just a moment. They can get that back and finally hold it again. They just have to go through the best team in the world to do it. You know, you talk about experience, you talk about accolades, but when it comes to heart, and when it comes to hunger and passion and belief, I don't think there's anybody that can touch the likes of Club Rock Shandy and Flamboy and Fabio. They have helped build this place, and as you say, you know, former Irish Junior Heavyweight Champion, former Irish Tag Team Champions, those may have just been very brief moments in the short careers of Fabio and Club Rock Shandy, but there are moments that happen nonetheless and Hart could take them a very long way here tonight, but can it take them all the way? That is the question. And never mind.
I have been warned by Rick Nash to not let my personal feelings affect my calling of this match. I'm going to call it right down the middle because that's what the biggest main event in Fight Factory history owes. I will let the crowd speak for themselves on their feelings towards these wrestlers. But let's not forget, regardless of the stakes, look at the six men in that ring. Think of all the greatest moments. Think of all the greatest matches. That watch list of Fight Factory history and how often do these six names show up on that list? I, I can't even count. It could be the entire list. This is massive. And it starts now. Flamboyant Fabio and LJ Cleary starting things off. LJ Cleary, the Irish Junior Heavyweight Champion. The greatest Irish Junior Heavyweight Champion. One of the only two-time Irish Junior Heavyweight Champions. At the time of his first win, he was the youngest champion in history. He was the longest reigning champion in history. He has the most cumulative days with that title. And what is this now? More than hype. Taking back and collecting themselves. I was just going to say, you could feel the tension in the air as LJ Cleary and Flamboyant Fabio are squaring off in the middle of the ring. They have, they have an axe to grind. Flamboyant Fabio broke the record to become the youngest, the youngest Irish junior heavyweight champion, and he held it for a minute. LJ Cleary cashed in that contract and made sure that he would be the shortest reigning champion. And now look at this. The former Irish junior heavyweight tag champion going up against Darren Kearney and more than hype retreating again. You know, it's just mind games for more than hype. You could argue, I mean, you could argue it's either mind games or they don't have a strategy. They're not ready to, to take on Club Rock Shandy and Club Boy and Fabio. But you think they're not ready? Clearly, I think more than hype know what they're doing. More than hype, as we said, best trio in, in the world of wrestling today. That This is just mind games. I know these men well. I've followed them their entire careers. I have called all of their greatest matches. More than hype. I don't think this is a case of mind games. I think this is a case of Club Rock Shiny and Flamboy and Fabio being in their heads. The rent free in their heads right now, and they're getting psyched out by the tension. They've taken a lot of shortcuts to get those titles. Anyone can see that. They cashed in contracts after matches. They faced them while they weren't fresh. Club Rock Shiny got a DQ win last episode. But now, it's straight down the middle. No running away from it now, and look at this. Match officially underway. First strike's thrown as Nathan Martin takes down Martin Steers. The fans don't like it, but LJ Cleary getting involved while he's on the apron is what you have to do if you want to beat Club Rock Shandy in this main event. Absolutely, I remember I was here the first time more than hype and Club Rock Shandy faced off very different circumstances. They were the best of friends, showing each other up in a game of one-upsmanship. More than hype came out on top, they had the better experience. Club Rock Shandy has grown and grown since then and their relationship is fractured. They are no longer friends, they are bitter enemies here and that's gonna make for a very different matchup altogether. These different feelings, these different levels of experience. But the difference here is that for more than hype, this is a professional contest for championships. For Club Rock, Shandy and Fabio, this is a lot more personal. And they're taking it a lot more personally. And it could be argued that it, they could make mistakes. They're too emotionally invested. Possibly, but look at that moves by Martin Steers. And now the tagging in and out with Klom. They are laser focused. They have their anger, but they are not going to let that cloud their judgment. They have titles to win back, and that's what they're going for. More than hype on the retreat. How often do you see more than hype on the retreat? No, more than hype. We see them wrestle all around the world at this stage, and they're always up for a fight, never backing down. And we are seeing them, as you say, on the retreat quite a lot so far in this match. See that frustration from Nathan Martin throwing a chair. More than hype are rocked. You can see they're scared. Well, you know, let's look ahead of ourselves. I wouldn't say they're scared. I wouldn't say they're necessarily rocked. They're just taking breaks and slowing it down and coming up with the best method to take out Club Rock Shandy. Because Club Rock Shandy's speed is undeniable. Again, if, if, if we're talking about controlling the pace, Club Rock Shandy are going to want this to be a very fast, quick, speedy affair. And more than hype aren't going to want that in this match. 
Now LJ Cleary. Back to man. Tag made. Blind tag made by Nathan Martin. But hey. Oh, an argument because it wasn't close enough to the tag rope. But that argument may have just proved to be a distraction for Foxy as Darren Kearney took advantage. Higgin. Martin steers his partners off of the apron and now he's all alone here. The ring is cut off for Steers. Big double axe handle from Psycho Nathan. Oh, snap suplex into the cover. Another aspect worth pointing out is that we talk about more hype and their chemistry as a trio. From Boy and Fabio has never teamed with Club Rock Shami before in a in a six-man tag match like this, that could be the difference maker. That could be the difference maker. They have never teamed before in six-man action. Of course, good friends here in Fight Factory. But more than hype and Club Rock Shandy, but we're also good friends. experience as a team exactly. is going to be the difference maker here. Look at this, those fiery kicks there from Steers, taken in a half-crab position. By Darren Kearney, holding them until LJ Cleary can make the tag. The ropes go steers taken out. Back into the cover, but Steers getting the shoulder up. And this is bad news for the team of Club Rock Shani and Flamboy and Fabio. Long solidly supporting his partner, but you can see the frustration for Fabio because it's not just the Irish Junior, uh, the Irish Tag Team Championships online; it's the Irish Junior Heavyweight Championship on the line. Fabio could lose his chance at that singles title without being the one pinned here. He has to put a lot of faith in the team of Club Rock Shandy that they can all claim those titles together. That's a huge responsibility that weighs on everybody's shoulders in this match. They could be the one to cost both of their partners their titles, and nobody wants to be in that position. They have that common ground they were both cashed in on after matches by the members of More Than Hype. So they have that common ground, but will that translate into a common goal, common energy that will get them the win here? And look at this, the kicks from Klong! Big match, Klong, always delivering oh. with those karate kicks. And oh, Psycho Nathan, always delivering with stiff shots. But Klong firing back. He's a European karate champion. And there's the German. Klong checking the surroundings here. What could he be going Klong for? Klong on fire. No hesitation. Tobe Nero. Back into the ring. Other side, Tope! Oh, wait a oh, minute. He's caught. Caught by Darren Kearney in the gut wrench. The strength oh. of Kearney! Powerbomb onto the apron. And now, the team of Club Rock Shiny just checking on Klong after that shot, but more than hype cutting things off. Fabio and Steers. Kong is just screaming in agony. You okay? Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Oh, come on. Well, well, have a serious injury scare there for Klong. Yeah, but this is a high stakes. He was not fit to compete. Ben, this, is a, this, is, this isn't just a high stakes situation. This is as high as the stakes can get. This is all their titles on well, the line. Well, tensions have blown over an injured arm of Klong. Targeted by Darren Kearney. If Klong is not fit to compete, he can leave the match. This is not a, this is not a time for more time to take risks and give Klong time to recover. They need to take full advantage of this opportunity. They wouldn't even they let Foxy come up with a decision. He couldn't even have time to throw up the axe before they decided, no, this match will continue on their terms. And Klong's not going to give up on his own right, but Foxy can't even get a full examination of Klong here as this match rolls on. It doesn't matter, as if, I mean, 
Jimmy Kong would continue if his limbs were hanging off him right now. The reality is, more than hype need to do what they can to put an end to this contest and win it. Under any means necessary. This is all their titles on the line. It's high stakes. Yeah, I bet you would argue afternoon. they're just looking out for Klong, right? Just trying to end the match as quickly as possible. No, they're looking out for themselves, okay? And they should. And they should. No one else is going to look out after them. They need to look out for themselves. They are the champions, and they are the champions because they look out for themselves. And if they want to keep it that way, they're going to have to keep looking out for themselves. Well, I'm no fan of it, but this viciousness may keep those titles around their waist. Exactly. Klong is in a bad way and far away from his corner. But somehow getting the shoulder up. And look at this, cutting off the ring, applying pressure to that injured back. The fan support in here for Club Rock Shandy is fantastic, but you're going to need more than fan support if you want to beat more than hype at their absolute peak. Look, more than hype are going in this with a grudge of their own. You think there's no emotion on the side of more than hype? You think they're coming in coldly just thinking, we're the best, we deserve these titles? No, there's an anger there. There's always been a, a roster, a rotation in Fight Factory. This has been a school that has taught people and built them up. This is not a league. We are not cutthroat businessmen here in Fight Factory. I, I disagree. We are a school where we build each other up, pass the torch on, but more than hype, they think they're still young. They're still the young guns, and they see this other team coming up, nipping at their heels, and instead of building them up to eventually pass that torch, they're trying to cut the feet out from under them, and look at this. I, I, no, I disagree. This, they could end Klong's career here. This, this, is, this is a cutthroat promotion. It's a cutthroat sport. More than Hyper doing what they have to do to remain on top. And as you can see, they're doing every little bit of damage they can to the back of Klong, the already damaged back of Klong, to get the win here. And there's nothing wrong with that. Klong may not be competing for a while after this match. More than Hype might be making sure of that. But to Klong's credit, he won't give up. No matter what happens to his back, he will not give up. The heart that Club Rock Shandy and Kaboy and Fabio have to be taking on more than hype under these circumstances. That stiff it's shot from LJ Clear might have knocked Klong out cold for a bit. Yeah, Klong unable to make it back to his feet. Yeah, yeah, LJ Cleary. We go way back, but LJ Cleary, probably the most accomplished man in the history of Fight Factory. And look, look at how the people respond to him now. They're fully behind Klong and they should be. Klong's got a lot of resilience, but now he's back giving out. Foxy just has to step in. Now the fans don't like this, but the fans don't, don't have to like this. The fans liking this is irrelevant. If your goal is gold, fans liking what you do isn't going to get you gold all the time. Well, an axe bomber to the back of the neck by Cleary. Somehow, Klong staying in the match. And now Martin going straight for the apron. And now setting up Klong once more. Looking for a pumping bomber lariat. In to the cover, but there's the shoulder up again. I don't know how Klong does it. I don't know how Klong is still in this match. What do you say? Do you give up? Again, it's a high pressure situation. Some people crumble under high pressure situations and others flourish. And it's clear to see how high pressure situations affect Klong. Klong knows. Klong's not just fighting for himself. Klong is fighting for the dreams and the title opportunities of his best friends, Martin Sears and Flamboyant Fabio. It's not just his title opportunity on the line, it's theirs, and he is fighting for them. And he's putting his career on the line to do it. Wait, ducks the shot, oh. but Oka with the knee. And as you say, Martin Sears, it's like, like a brother. Klong, oh. C4 by Klong! Klong will never give up on his brother. He'll never give up on his tag team partners. And you'll nearly, I hate to say, but you nearly have to kill Klong in order to beat him. 
Klong was just a rookie when he came to Fight Factory. Hit it off with Martin Steers. They were together to form Club Rock Shandy, and since then they have picked each other up. They have brought themselves to the main event together as brothers, and Klong will not give up on that. And now, tag made, Flamboy and Fabio, the former Irish Junior Heavyweight Champion, in against LJ Cleary. The singles titles competitors. And they're going out, Darren Kearney going straight for Fabio, caught with the uppercut. Rolls through, takes out the legs. Boom, drop. By the funky Pharaoh, and now, Oh, Psycho Nathan coming in. Wait, goes behind. Ducks through. Big Enzagiri. Flamboyant Fabio just took out more than hype solo, but whoa! LJ Cleary getting involved. Wait, roll through. Step up. Misdirection kick. And now. Nathan on the ropes, LG on the ropes, Tiger, faint kick. Oh, and another Tiger faint trip, kick through the ropes, and now, up and over, Moonsault, takes the both down, in to the cover, but LJ kicks out. But the athleticism and the agility being shown by Fanboy and Fabio, you know, win, lose, or draw, the effort that Fanboy and Fabio is putting in here tonight, is beyond impressive. Last episode, flamboyant Fabio tasted the top of the mountain just for a minute. He got that taste and now he's remembering it and he'll do anything to get back to that peak. And now tag made, Martin Steers involved. Tandem offense here, oh. Tornado DDT. Well, we asked the question, how well would Fabio work with Club Rock Shandy? I think that's just been answered right there. But somehow, LJ Cleary staying in it. Steers is calling for it. Rock Shandy Driver, this could be the decision maker. He's got the arms hooked. He's taking a bit too long. And LJ with the escape. Tag made to Darren. Oh, caught. And Fabio off as well. Steers is alone in the ring. This is bad news. All three of More Than Hype, ready and wearing. Oh! Somehow, Martin Steers getting the shoulder up there. Hag made yet again. Now bringing him in. For the assisted blue thunder bomb, but oh, oh, look at this! Innovative offense into the head scissors! Tag made! Fabio's back in it! He's looking for it! The rolling cutter! Oh! Caught by Kearney! Maybe looking for a key crusher, but oh! Poison Rana! By Fabio! And now tag made. LJ's the legal man. S O S. Spiked him. And now up and over. Corkscrew kick. Karate kick from Klong. And now up and over into a stutter. By Steers. This could be One, it. two. Oh. So close to reclaiming those titles. Club Rock Shandy, they just bring the best out of each other. Connor Martin Steers and from Boy and Fabio as well here tonight. Unbelievable. Somehow Nathan Martin with the save. Now more than hype, regrouping, clearing the ring. This has been their strategy to pick them off, isolate them. Just get one in the ring at a time. In this case, the victim may be Steers. Now look at this, His former friends, former best friends, Steers and Psycho Nathan, oh, vicious, 
Scoop Slam with the chop. And now the ring cut off. Mark Martin Stairs is in trouble. Steers cut off, now a mobbing. Gang violence here for more than hype. Oh! oh Steers causing a communication error and now, Steers and Nathan face to face again. And now, the strikes firing away. Oh, he's caught him. Looking for the rock, Shani he Driver, he hits it! Tag made, clung up top. This is how they claim those titles the first time. 450 into the he cover, it. but the foot oh, no. on the ropes. Oh no! Why no? The foot was on the ropes. And what Foxy a, overturning the decision. But what a hit this must be for Club Rock Shandy and Fabio mentally after going through all that. Only for the match to be over and Morton Hyper gonna take advantage. Crushing for them. Due diligence by Foxy. Can't put any blame on him. That's a heartbreaking choice for all oh, the team of Rock Shandy and Flatboy and Fabio. Oh no, this is bad news. Oh my God, Steers through the chairs. This is vicious. This is an aggressive more than hype. And we, we've seen earlier what aggression does. Aggression wins matches. So this, this could be it for Cobra Shandy. Steers has been cleared out on the outside here. And now Klong, isolated by more than hype. Oh! The springboard drop kick. Kearney Crusher! And now in to the cover! Oh, he kicks out! The shoulder is up! How did he kick out with that? This match continues! Nile Fox, our official. Absolute due diligence. Seeing the shoulder up at the last microsecond, being able to recognize it and call it, this match continues. And now more than hype are the ones that are being mentally tested. Now more than hype are facing an obstacle when they thought this match was finished and they got the job done. They there are still thrown, more to do. They have thrown everything they could possibly throw at the team of Club Rock, Shani and Flamboyant Fabio. But the same could be said the other way around. Both teams have given everything they have. Oh no, go for the more than hype. Activate Destroyer! And that is it! Oh my god! He's taken down again! And now the frustration is really starting to be shown. The but more than hype have never been higher. The heart and the soul of Fight Factory. Here in the ring tonight, everything on the line. And now, oh, wait a minute. Nathan. It's Psycho Nathan taking out our official. And now, setting up Fabio. For the overheight, but Fabio escapes. Big super oh. kick sets Derek Kearney out the ring. LJ going for a monkey flip. Countered. Rolling. Cutter. Oh. He hits it. Into the cover, but, but there's, there's no one to make the count. There's no one to make the count. We could have had new champions all round, but Foxy's laid out. Wait a Wait, minute! That's Phil Boyd! Phil Boyd! Phil, Phil, Phil Boyd is here! Making One, the two, count! No! Oh, oh, you are joking! You are joking! Phil 
still came so close! A kick out at the last possible moment! Phil didn't make it in time! But still they go on! And they refuse to give up! And now, setting up for the Rock Shandy driver! Oh! oh! Claw take it out! Now setting up over hype! And that is it! Into the cover! And no! Oh, he kicks out my again! God! He kicks out again! Steers now pulling through! Klong took all the punishment in the world was able to kick out. You think Steers wouldn't do the same? Wouldn't do the same for his partner for those Irish Tag Team Championships? When we say this is the most important match in the history of Fight Factory Pro Wrestling, that is not a joke. Everyone giving it their all. And now, oh, oh. with the low blow! Trying to get that disqualification. Surely not. Looking for a DQ to finish this all! Not like this. And I'm more than hype! Berating Phil Boyd! Challenging him to call for the bell! But he won't do it! He knows the stakes in this match! Triple! Oh. Rolling! Cutter! Up! Top! All three men! This is it! Triple! Yeah. 450! There! It! Yeah. Is! That's it! Yes! We have new all-round champions! What a match! We have new champions! All round, Club Rock Shandy, Flyboy and Fabio, they have hungered, they have strived, they tasted the top of the mountain for but a moment, but now they can hold it, they can walk home with those titles after the quest of this year, after the 2019 they have had, we enter a new decade of Fight Factory and what a decade it has been, what a year it has been, we enter a new age for this company, for this promotion, with new champions, Flamboyant Fabio, Club Rock Shandy will lead this gym into the future. What a show, what a main event, the biggest match in Fight Factory history. This has been episode 12 with Ben Given, joined by Corporate King. Thank you all, happy new year, and good night.